Well, let's just get right to it. It seems you love being bad. What is that about? I don't think that I love being bad. I think it's just easy to not be good. Ooh. Ooh. Talk to him. Right, right there. Talk to him. <laughs> when you say it's easy to not be good, yeah, yeah. What, what is being good to you? Is it showing up or like on time? Do you feel like when you're showing up late intentionally and constantly into everybody in a very selfish manner that you are bucking the system? What is it feeding? It's not feeding anything. Time does feel like it moves faster in my apartment, but I also hate being early. I don't like waiting for people, which is crazy because people are always waiting. What is that about? Why don't you like waiting for people? I've been very interested in how your brain works because weirdly it works a lot like my fiance's, even though you guys sometimes are at odds. And all I find is that you're at odds because you're a lot alike. Because she is the same way. She doesn't want anybody to ever be like having to like, she doesn't want to wait on anybody, but she loves people to wait on her. It's not that I love it. I just, I'm a very indecisive person. Ooh. I don't I don't know what I want to wear at times. But also, when I'm a certain amount of late, I'll be like, well, I got to look better. So now I got to change my clothes to look sexier so I can be oh. 45 minutes late. So she's late, think, but great. You're I'm, also being considerate. Exactly. So oh, that's not like wow. a good person to me. Because your presence is a blessing. In no, sense. that's not what I said, but I'm saying if I'm going to show up late, I'm going to look great. Woo! Do you take a poll when you get there to see if the person feels that way? Uh, so people usually just tell me. Oh, okay, so you're getting affirmations of this. That <laughs> Absolutely. Is continuing the behavior. Yeah. Cool. I went on a date with a dude once I was late, and he was like, pretty girls are never on time. And I was oh, like, thank you. Wow. wow. Where did you meet that nigga? Sim.com? Crazy. Oh, well, listen, shit. a compliment is a compliment, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> a win is a win. <laughs> yeah, Lord. How did you feel when Lauren made that statement? Because we thought it was wild that you were kind of on that vibe of like, who do you think I am, Lauren Hill? Like, I wouldn't be that late. But then when I saw Lauren make this statement, I was like, this sounds like some shit. Marie would say, for sure. Yeah, but two hours late is OD. You do think that's If I'm like two hours much. late, I'm not coming. Oh, so you just won't but, show up. But also, if I show up somewhere two hours late and the dude is still there, that's a loser. Yeah. Wow. That's on him. That's sad. I'm like, Yuck. I wasn't going to share this because I don't want to make anybody feel bad about themselves. You know, that's not what I do here. Unless you have a galaxy, in which case you should feel bad about yourself. <laughs> so the other day I jumped into therapy. I had my little velvet do-rag on. And, you know, it's a Zoom. I got there late. And I'm talking to my girl Lydia. And she's like, seems like life is going really well. If you don't need weekly sessions anymore, we can go to every other week. And I was like, <laughs> did I beat therapy? Did I make it to the last level of therapy? Am I? A doctor now? <laughs> yeah. I was like, is it the fabric? Maybe the fabric got her thinking. Wow, she really got her life together. Cause you know it's nothing. It's giving me a reach. <laughs> or maybe my insurance is taking too long to pay her. I don't know. I didn't ask the question. But all I know is that I'm done. I'm done with therapy. I've leveled up. So you know, tell me your problems below and stuff. You still need therapy, but I'm every other week because I graduated. <laughs> I would say, according to that video, though, you still definitely need therapy. <laughs> you do not need it at all. <laughs> I got therapy tomorrow, so and yeah. You should probably triple up. <laughs> you talk about guys a lot. Guys you met, dates you didn't make. We never see any of these niggas. <laughs> this is, uh, we, we have yet to see one. <laughs> we, we don't know. No face, no so, case. No, I just wonder, are, are you a virgin? <laughs> Do you like niggas? Um, I actually don't like niggas. Uh, I date men, but I'm not attracted to them. Um, but uh, uh, okay. I'm not a virgin, obviously. Yeah. I, but I am a child of God. <laughs> oh. Okay, so you date men, not a child of God. You're a virgin, but you're a child of God. Mark it down, bitch confused. Wait, hold on. Hold on, Keith. Wait, hold on. I posted a marriage.
sharing on my page once and I put an emoji on his face. You didn't pull that picture up? I couldn't find that. Oh, you oh, there. It's there. It's September 24th, 2002. <laughs> What we've discerned from you two is that you're toxic for one another. You you feed each other's worst parts. You also celebrate each other's best parts, but you won't force either one of you guys to get out the nest and fly alone. And that's what's needed. I moved to LA. Yeah, she moved to LA for you. I feel I feel like you were still with her though. And so I'm not wrong. And so I think you guys need to stand up. Okay. And I, give these affirmations. Okay. It's affirmation time. So what I think is uh, there's actually a lot of feminine energy between you two. Yeah, and we're women, Keith. Yeah, and so <laughs> and so what's happening is that you guys are so far on the spectrum that you actually need some masculine energy. So I collected some real nigga essence. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, just hold that. What's that, Kerr? It's real yeah. nigga energy. <laughs> smell it. Take it. Smell it. Cause when, here's the thing: when females get too far into uh, yes, femininity, they need masculinity to polarize them to get them brown. This is cologne from CBS. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. This is not what I think. That if we're gonna give them masculine energy, we should do it for real. Paris Sachet, can you come up here? Oh, hey. Hey. Affirmations to freedom oh, from shit. the bondage that is their love. Together or apart? Together. We're together. <laughs> I'm Marie Foster. I'm Marie Foster. Willingly admit that being late is not okay. Willingly admit that being late is not okay. Ooh. <laughs> and though Sydney is my best friend, she should not always side with me. And Ooh. though Sydney is my best friend, she shouldn't, oh. but she always will side with me. Amen. Oh, wow. Amen. You're changing the affirmation. Amen. I'm, I'm keeping it true. Yeah. And as a great friend. And as a great friend. I will say Sydney does need a little help. I will say Sydney does need a little help. <laughs> And I, as a great friend, am willing to help. And I, as a great friend, am willing to help. Because she's going to pay for my Uber tonight. Hey. <laughs> you turn, Cindy. <laughs> yeah, you're not done. <laughs> I also admit. I also admit. That I am the problem. Ooh. <laughs> Just say it, Cindy. That I am the problem. And though I fight against my own self, <laughs> though I fight against my own self, I am willing to be better. I am willing to be better. Paris, you wrote this? Yeah. Paris, no, no, they typed this up. They typed this up. Yeah. Cindy, you wrote the paper. I was like, can y'all give me examples of being better? Huh? Can y'all give me examples? We don't have enough time for that. We just. Would you have time for you to tell me like this? This is a group project. <laughs> we don't have time. Okay. So say I will be a, per a better person as a single person as and as a friend. Ooh. I will be a better person as a single person and as a friend. You say that too, Marie. Right? I will be a better person as a single person and as a friend. I think you guys did great. Now you guys are ready for the yeah, real thing. job. I think just we need one last thing and it'll oh, be done. Shit. The last thing is, and I promise that you guys will see us separately and not together at least four times a month. <laughs> I'll do therapy twi twice. Yeah, I gotta see you four times. Four times in one of us. Just give it up. Why are you so resistant? This is therapy. Change. You can't fight it. Just say it. Just why say you it. don't want to see black women with joy and wow. be friends? So this is therapy, guys. We have to be better. This is what they want to see. You're just us fighting. You're the first. No, this is what they want to see. The white woman with the same chest. To another level of we, we can be out there Zoom, or we gotta show up in person. No, I don't gotta. Not in person. Oh yes, yeah, so I could do okay, something. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm gonna be late. There's a compromise. Say what can you give me? I don't. I haven't paid for my Zoom membership. Sorry. All right. Okay. Sydney, you're too poor to participate. Oh. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for doing our show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
That was beautiful. I, that was the first time we failed. Yeah. I don't think we helped them. No. 